In this lecture, we're going to be taking a look at the bevel modifier. The bevel modifier is a modifier that we can use to smooth edges on our object to create more lifelike materials. And we do this by adding geometry in a curved format. We'll be looking at how we can use this bevel tool in edit mode and introducing the hotkey for the bevel modifier, which is control B. So let's go in to Blender. So we've got our cube and we're going to go into edit mode. Now for the purposes of this lecture, I'm going to select the top four edges only. So I'm going to deselect everything and then I'm going to go into edge select and press alt right click or control right click. There we go. So next we have the bevel modifier. So there are two ways that we can do this. We can use the bevel tool, which uses the hotkey, control and B. Once you press control and B, if you drag away, you can see that the edge splits into two and creates an angle. The more we drag away, the greater the distance between the two and the more varied our shape becomes. If we scroll up on the scroll wheel, each time we do so adds another loop cut. The more loop cuts we include, the smoother our bevel. So as we can see, we have quite a number of cuts here. So it's very, very smooth. Let's reduce this. That will do and click to confirm. And there we go. We have a very interesting shape now. Next we have, if I press control Z to go back, we have the bevel modifier. So we can go to modifiers tab add modifier and bevel. This works slightly differently. This works in a similar way to the subdivision surface. So the bevel modifier actually alters the entire mesh, whereas the bevel tool will only modify your selected parts of the mesh. So we can deselect these edges now. As we can see, the modifier works quite well. By increasing the width value, we can increase the distance between the split edges, creating a variety of shapes. By increasing segments, we add loop cuts in those, in those meshes. So by adding more segments, we add more loop cuts making much more round, much more defined corners. And there we go, that's the bevel tool and the bevel modifier. Both of these bevel your objects, but both can be used in completely different ways. So there we go, there's the bevel modifier and I will see you in the next lecture.